Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, going over the weekly adventures for uh, the week. So first we have a Fiora 1.5 star adventure. Special rules, round start, all players spawn one. So obviously Alawi would be a great pick for this since her whole mechanic is spawn. But if you wanted to play someone other than Alawi, I think both Garen and Tom Kench would actually be able to do very well with this as well because they'd be able to further buff off their tentacle um, quite a lot and consistently. Um, Kane could also do decent, but he'd actually have to kill a unit with the tentacle, whereas Garen and uh, Tom Kench, they can have it just do some damage or take some damage and uh, be able to keep getting larger and larger. So those are some um, other decks other than the obvious Alawi that could be really good with uh, this special rule. Alright, taking a look at Poppy. So we have your Sharima cards cost one less to play, um, each round the first one. And then Musical Duet, when a foe attacks, they summon a exact ephemeral copy of their weakest unit with reverse stats. So uh, if you wanted to take use of the Dune Striders, then it's Talia or Kaisa, both uh, strong decks, especially once you get them up a little bit. So they could both take use of that. For the last adventure, it's Tom Kench. It's just a three star. So we've each round the first player, the player's first Noxus card costs one less to play. So that is Annie and Darius. Um, Undying Rage. This is the effect from Tritomir. Each round the first time one of the units would die, grant them tough, overwhelming, fearsome. And then just the vicious enemy of more health, more mana, and hand size. So. I would say that um, Annie would probably be the best bet to take use of Unflinching Strength. Now, if you do have Darius um, up to three stars and you have that Overwhelm, you can potentially just go through the enemy units. Even if they um, don't die, you're still able to do a lot of that damage to the Nexus. Um, I would personally probably go with Annie. She's able to do a lot of damage directly to the Nexus um, through spells and abilities. And then she has a lot of controls with the stuns that she has so that she can just kind of stun lock the entire enemy every round while she just burns the Nexus down. So I think Annie would do good with that. But for the Undying Rage, if you don't want to play Noxus, um, one thing you could also do is either go for a high control deck, like someone like Jin, who you're able to have a lot of other stuns, so you can just keep stunning the enemy and then ignoring them, or go for a deck that has a lot of elusives, um, so, Bard, quite often you can win the game just with your elusive units, especially if you have Corrupted Star Fragments, you can just give Bard um, elusive that way. Or you could also go with like Teemo, or even Master Yi. Um, any deck that can really use a lot of elusives could do well with this. Or any decks that can just control the enemy units so that you just don't have to deal with them. Um, Ash, if you want to play her, her Rhyme Fang Wolf. Um, when it attacks a Frostbitten unit, um, it counts as killing it twice, since it would kill the unit, and then it's a special effect of when it attacks a unit with zero um, power, it kills it. So that's normally able to get rid of this. Uh, Tom Kench himself, since he doesn't kill units, he obliterates them when he captures them, uh, would also be a good way to work around this. So that is some of the champions and decks that I think would work well for uh, these weekly adventures. Sorry I got this video out a little bit later than normal. I, I didn't wake up thinking about this. I forgot that weeklies reset Monday morning. If you like these videos, definitely like and subscribe. And thank you so much for all the support you guys have been showing to the channel. I hope you guys have a great day. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching that video all the way to the end. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. We're putting out multiple videos every single day for Path of Champions content. So if that interests you, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and welcome to the channel. Have a great day.